Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to film a animation sequence with the take recorder. And the take recorder is a little bit different than filming with the sequencer. And in my opinion, it helps just to build a player pawn camera so that you can easily film with the take recorder. And by the end of this relatively short video, you'll see what I'm talking about. So this is very similar to the last tutorial I did, but I just wanted to walk you through all the steps so there's no question about what you need to do to kind of get up and running. So it's just gonna be a animation of a person kicking, but I'm not gonna set up the ball. I'm just going to show the animation and how we're able to film it with the take recorder. And I'll give you some tips and tricks that will hopefully prevent you from having the headaches that I've had today. So anyway, to get started, we're just gonna be on the content level here and we're gonna go ahead and import our animation. So you need to have a Mixamo character in T-Pose and then a kicking animation or whatever animation you want downloaded without the skin. So the first thing we do is go get that character in T-Pose, go to import. We're gonna go to downloads where I have them on my computer, T-Pose. Here, go open. And then all we have to do is make sure we select use T-Pose as reference pose and go import all. That just takes a minute to do. And then we're just gonna go ahead and import our animation, which is our soccer penalty kick and go open and go import all. And that's all we gotta do. Now, one of the things that I discovered is that you're gonna get into trouble filming with the take recorder in this third person template. We're in 5.3.2. What you really need to do is get into a persistent level. So we're gonna go into new level, basic level, and let's just film in here. I had so many problems that it was just driving me absolutely crazy. So I haven't had any problems in the persistent level. Okay, so we're pretty much ready to go. What we're gonna do now is we're just gonna drag our T-Pose character onto the ground. That's his name, T-Pose. He could be called Sam Harry Henry. It's just T-Pose is his name. And then we're gonna right click and we're gonna get a cinematic sequence. Go to level sequence right here. We're gonna double click into this. With him selected in the scene, we're gonna go to track, add to sequencer and then we don't need the transform track so we're just going to go ahead and delete that and then all we have to do is click that plus sign and we have our animation right there and he's good to go now i mentioned this in the last tutorial we need to click on here right click and go to properties and where it says when finished we want to keep the state which means that he won't click back into t-pose when this animation is done looping and we don't want it to go all that far so we're just going to drag this to there, right? And then, believe it or not, that concludes our animation. So if I hit play, you'll see, there he is, right? So to get this to loop, and just so for illustration purposes, we'll come to Content Browser, and we'll just drag our new level sequence into the scene. We're gonna click Auto Play, and we're gonna go loop indefinitely. Now, normally if I were gonna film this, I would show you, we would trigger this animation from a little blueprint, which I showed how to do in the last tutorial, but I'm just gonna have it looping. And then here's the beautiful thing. There is one beautiful thing about the take recorder. If we film with the player character, the player, as our camera, then we don't need to set up a camera. It comes in automatically. So that's what we're gonna do right now, is we're gonna go ahead and create our pawn camera. So if I hit play right now, you'll see he's over there. I'm way over here. One thing I can do, so you see there's our animation playing. So the only question is, can we film this with the take recorder? That's the only question, right? And the answer to that is yes. So what we're gonna do is can our player start? And this is something that will help us. So like I mentioned this in the last tutorial, you can think of the player start as basically your initial camera position. So let's just drag it over here. So if something breaks down with our camera rig that we're at least in a filming area. So now if I hit play, he's right there. The only problem, of course, is this, my player character is in the way. We gotta get rid of him and turn him into a camera. So that's what we'll do real quickly. So I'm gonna go escape. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to the third person blueprint here, double click in here, and we're going to just grab all this stuff here and go control C and minimize that. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to go back to our content level here. We're gonna right click. We're gonna go to Blueprint Class. We're gonna go to Character. And we're gonna call this BP Camera Pond. And there's more controls you can add to this. I did a tutorial about that. I'll put that in a link in the description, but I'm just, these are just the basic controls that we need to get started. So I'm gonna double click into here. I'm gonna go ahead and dock this. 
I'm going to close that. I don't need that. And then we're going to go on the event graph here. We're going to delete all of this and go control V and all these controls come in for us and we hit compile, save, no errors. And now we can use our WASD keys to move around and stuff. So that's fantastic. And once our player pawn is camera pawn is created, we just have to go up here to windows and go to world settings here and switch our game mode here. I guess we can put this into BP third person, but then for the default pawn class, we'll put, put my BP camera pawn. There is one thing I forgot to do. <laughs> it's kind of important as you might've noticed is I didn't bring any camera. So that was an, uh, kind of a big oversight. So we're going to go into camera here and get the cine camera, right? So then we have a lot of nice control over this and we can just, you can play around where, you know, where to best position this, but that should be good enough. And here we'll just pump up our focus so we know we're in focus. And if you want to adjust the camera settings, you can just come in the blueprint here and do that. So now if I hit play, you'll see I've got the player pawn so is my camera. Now, like I said, the beauty of this system of doing it this way is now if I go to film with the take recorder, I just have to pick one source, which is the player. And that will be is also my camera that I can move around. So it makes it very easy to film with the take recorder. And that's what we're going to do right now. So what we do here is we're going to come up to Windows, Cinematics, Take Recorder, and we need to pick a source. And the source is going to be our player character. And that's all we have to do. And that's the beauty of filming with the take recorder. That's one thing. A lot of it's a big headache, but that is one good thing about it. So all we have to do now is just go play and hit record. Three, two, one. And if everything's working right, Oops, I fell off the world. Stop. I'm going to film it again. Hold on. Play. I forgot where I was. I didn't realize I was so close to the edge. So there's our shot. Hopefully that's what's recording. So let me see if it films moving at the same time. I don't know if it will. And then I'll hit escape. And then all we have to do is come into the content browser, go to cinematics, double click here, double click there. It's the second take. We're going to double click into this, click that. Then we can come up to sequence here, turn off compression and go capture movie. Don't save. And let's see if it recorded it. And let's see if it recorded the camera movement. It did. See how it's recording the camera movement too? So then you just get the best sequence that you want. And if you want to put a ball in the scene, you put a ball in the scene. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care. Have a great day and good luck filming.